Hello friends, welcome to our channel Mirror Neuron, which means watch and learn. Alright, let's learn about linear models today. What does it mean and what are the pros of linear models? And as we progress, we will also discuss the cons of linear models. We will also look into some Python code to be able to interpret things in terms of linear model. So what is linear model? So it says the relationship between the each and every individual variable and the target variable follows a straight line. The slopes of such lines are called the coefficients and it follows the form which some looks something like this like y is equal to an intercept term plus the uh, slope time the variable 1 plus slope time the variable 2 and the slope times the variable 3. It's a standard uh, linear model how it looks like. Now what does it mean in terms of real life right? So for example say I'm a company and I want to increase the sales of my products right and I want to give some advertisement and want to know that if I give my advertisements in TV or radio or newspaper then which of them are going to bring me the maximum return or increase my sales now here the numbers that you are looking at are all in say dollars so basically in the first record you can see that say I'm investing two hundred and thirty dollars or about thirty eight dollars in radio about seventy dollars in newspaper and it gives me a sales of return say twenty two dollars so just imagine it has increased the sales by say twenty two dollars right and if I reduce the amount of uh, TV advertisement to $44 and increase the radio uh, no, uh, advertisement by say two more dollars, $40 and reduce the newspaper, my sales is about $10 and something, right? So I want to know what is the relationship between the TV ads versus my sales? What is the uh, relationship between the radio ads versus sales and the newspaper ads versus sales so uh, as a business I would also like to know where should I put more ads should it be in TV should it be in radio or should it be in newspaper now as a data scientist your role would be to able to tell me and in this case we are just creating a linear model should be able to tell how much should I increase my TV ad or my radio ad or my newspaper ad so that it will give me a uh, sales which you know uh, uh, looks good to me right so this is of course we'll look at this in our Python code as well but we here we are discussing about what does it mean by linear model so the linear model says that if I increase my TV ad then it should increase my sales if I increase my radio ad it should increase my sales and if I increase my newspaper ad it should increase my sales and similarly if I reduce each of them my sales should also reduce okay so that is the main relationship that means the TV radio and newspaper are linearly related to the sales and they're independently linear when I say that okay all right, so what are the you know, positives of linear model? So first of all, linear models are very easy to interpret, right? As we saw this example, if we are able to build a linear model, we should be able to say that, you know what, if you increase your TV ad by $1, so we can see how much it is going to change the sales. If you are going to increase the radio ad by one dollar then how much it is going to bring the sales and the same thing goes for newspaper so it's very easy to interpret even for business and people who don't have any background on data science or machine learning etc highly intelligible and simple to explain second is it has low complexity what does it mean it means that you know here it is not trying to catch any non-linear activity the relationship between TV and sales is not a non-linear thing that we will see in our uh, Python code what does it mean by non-linearity and that we, when we consider the real data uh, things will not be always linear okay so but the model here only tries to fit a straight line okay so everything it seems operates in a linear way third is it's scalable so linear models are very easy to implement okay so 
no matter if you take a small amount of data or you take a large amount of data it's very easy to scale these models the computation required is very similar hence it is called it is scalable and because it is very quick and easy to implement sometimes the first thing that machine learning people do is you know they create a linear model just to get a feel of the water okay so the first model gives an estimate that we can do much better than this okay and that is the main purpose behind creating a baseline model using linear models all right so with that now let's look into some python code and whatever we have spoken about let's see into our real data <laughs> 